hello friends welcome back to TechWeb YouTube channel so friends today in this video I'm going to help you out with the new ransomware called VVOA ransomware and I will tell you how to remove this virus from the computer and how to recover your data so let's get started and first of all guys I need to request you to subscribe my channel so that once I will up upload any other video regarding to the virus and you will get the update so now so this uh, virus VVOA it, and it belongs from the family called stop DGVU and it's encrypting your data with the online key encryption and you will not be able to open any of the file and you will find also you just need to note one thing uh, once you will comment on any YouTube channel so you will find the replies from uh, scam peoples and they will also tell you that we are going to help you and we will decrypt your data and they will charge you the less amount so my suggestion will be not to believe anyone and don't pay anything to anybody so now let's go to the video part and first of all what we need to do is we need to check the host file of your computer to make sure that there are no unknown IP addresses to connect your computer to the attacker server and if we do have any uh, IP addresses in the host file we need to remove them immediately so that you can get back access from the attacker and make sure once you will get this attack you don't need to uh, connect to your computer with the internet so disconnect your computer immediately now let's uh, follow the process first and foremost you need to go onto the search bar and type notepad okay so and after that right click there and run as administrator and here we go so now uh, this is the notepad and you need to click on file and then click on open uh, to check the host file I'm following this process and then click on this PC then C drive and then Windows after that you just need to scroll down a bit and you will find one more folder called system32 and just scroll down a bit once again and you will find one more folder called drivers you need to click there and after that you need to click on etc uh, then you will find text document here you need to select all files and here we go so here is the host file of your computer just click there and click here to open now this is the host file where all the IP addresses will be saved if if you are finding any IP addresses after this so these are all IP addresses are your IP addresses you don't need to do anything if you find any IP addresses after that you need to select them all like that and after that you need to delete them and in this way you are going to get the access back from the attacker and action and attacker will not be able to uh, do any further damage on your computer so just uh, after that you need to click on save and that's it so this is the first step which you need to do and after that uh, what you need to do you you need to install one software called reaminator I will provide the link in the description so just uh, install the software and then you need to extract the file and after that you need to open the uh, software like that so the main interface of this software is this and you will find these options first of all what you need to do is you need to click on virus scan and then you need to click on fix a problem so this is the method which are going which we are going to use the rem to remove the virus from the computer and after removing the virus I will tell you how to recover your data so I have a couple of softwares which you can use at the moment and as you know that there is no official decryptor for this stop DJ view family at the moment so we have some alternatives and we can uh, we can provide you that we can provide you all those softwares for free and once again I'm making you sure that do not pay anything to anybody if they are claiming that they are going to decrypt your data so uh, first of all you need to click on fix malware issues and it will take approximately a minute time and after that you need to click on deep scan and then you need to click on one line multi antivirus scan so these three steps you need to follow and after that you need to go back and then you need to click on clean so so here we go and then what you need to do is you need to click on clean after clean after virus attack click there and it will take approximately a couple of minutes once again and then your computer will be restarted and then uh, all the viruses which were on your computer will be deleted and your computer will be running good uh, but the files will still be in the form of dot whatever the extension you had like uh, the software will be vvoa form the all the softwares and the files will be on the format called dot vvoa so then what you need to do is you need to click on restore and after that what you need to do is restore manager 
and you need to click on windows system restore so this is the process of recovery the first step is uh, if your computer has got any uh, restore points so in this way you can get back the computer on that stage and all the infected software infected files will be deleted and you will get all the original files back if you have any restore point so you just need to check for, uh, check it from there so click on windows restore and here we go so after that you need to click on choose different and then click next so here we go and then for example if your computer was uh, got attacked on 13th uh, 13th of October or 13th of November so here you need to go on to the previous one 11th 9 as you need to go back to that stage so for example if it was attacked on 13th you need to click on 9th uh, 11th sorry and then you need to click next and then you need to click finish so once you will click on finish your computer will get restart and you will get your data back if you have any restore point before the attack so any dates before the attack will help you in this case if you didn't have any then this process will uh, not apply to you and you will not get any benefit of this so then you need to click on finish and that's it so this was the first step and the basic step and now the second step I'm just going to tell you we are going to use uh, one of the software and it's very beneficial so what you need to do is you need to click on photo rack test disk okay so just click there and uh, first of all you need to go on to the second website photo rack CG security click there and scroll down a bit here and you will find here we go download test disk and photo rack click there and then click test disk 7.2 and here we go so the software will be downloaded now so it's now getting downloaded I have already downloaded it I will try to extract that here we go and here we go this is the software you need to extract the files click extract here and it will take a couple of seconds to extract the file here we go we have the extracted file now just click on the extracted file and scroll down a bit and you will find QP photo rack underscore win you need to click there and after that you need to open it up and then click next and it will take approximately 30 seconds to 40 seconds to open the program so you need to wait and after that once it will be open you need to follow the remaining process let me get back to the main screen so now it's now open and it's running so what you need to do is you need to select the whole portion of the hard disk and once you are selecting this and after that you need to click on file formats so first of all you don't need to select all those just click on reset and if you are going to if you are thinking that I'm going to recover the photos just click on just type PNG and select that and then JPG sorry JPG JPG okay and if you are going to uh, recover the PDF just click on PDF and then you need to click OK so after that you need to click on browse and you need to select the path where you want to say where you want to save those recovered folders and files just uh, make a folder called REC else you can make folder of any name just click yes and select the folder and after that you need to click on search so it will take uh, approximately 30 minutes uh, sometimes it could take more sometimes it could take less depend upon the size of your data and here we go so we are getting some files back and you need to check the folder where you have saved all those files uh, like that and you need to click there so you will find some of the files are coming back and here we go you can check it out so this is the this is the second software which you are going to use and the third software is the paid software but I have already made a video how to use it for free so you I will provide you the video link in the description as well the software is called as Wondershare recover it you need to install it uh, and the, the steps are uh, already mentioned in the video which I'm going to put in the description uh, once you will download this software just click open and here we go then click next I'm going to quit this one and a second 
so it's just opening and here we go so it's now open opening and now so first of all I'm just going to click there and click on about so this is not the free this is not a free version this is the ultimate version so you are going to use it for free okay so now once you are downloading this software you need to click on all round uh, data recovery so else you can use virus data recovery so I'm going to use this one and once you are going clicking on that and you need to select all those um, drives uh, separately first of all you need to click on C then D and then E so and after that you need to click on start and you can start the process and it will take here we go so we are getting some files and it will take uh, approximately five to six minutes and so this is the process which we are going to use and once again we are finding a lot of options and we are working hard for you guys to recover your files and we will be available soon for with the new decryption tools and kindly subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that once we will update upload any more videos so that you can get the notification so thanks for that video and i will see you in the next video thank you